You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Rowe. Ursula. Oh, wow! That's okay. such a beautiful The bird. sea witch. As a dog. As a dog. I'm going to get that as the, that is the um, Halloween costume for my dog this year. <laughs> Just thought I'd let you know. Welcome to Chewing the Cud. This week we welcome a special guest host, Paris Munro. Welcome! Hello. Hello! What a beautiful little gaff you've got here. <laughs> Not too shabby. Oh. Very 90s car boot sale. Love the little trinkets. It's quite cute. Yeah. It's very it's a bit of me, you know. <laughs> Especially that unicorn up there. <laughs> yeah, that is that is that is sparkles. Yes, what was it? It's actually a puppet. It's yes. oh cute. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Nice, it's nice. Anyway, Mike, what shower of tosh are you forcing down on next today? Well, I've got a revival of an early 2000s trend. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, on screen now, you can see our contact info. It's at the Cud TV on social media, where you can follow us, the Cud.tv for our website, and on YouTube or a podcast service. Look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as the names travel across the bottom of the screen, we get ready for this week's showbiz with Lee. <laughs> Have either of you seen the Hulk, She-Hulk programme yet? Yes. I've not yet. Have you not? Have you seen it? Do you it's, like it? It's amazing. Oh, my God, I love it. It's she, really, really cool. She-Hulk, something at law. Attorney at law. Attorney at law, <laughs> <laughs> yes. I haven't watched it, clearly. <laughs> um, or even heard of it. Or even heard of <laughs> yeah. it. I've never this? heard of it. <laughs> so, um, it's on streaming platforms now and um, has got She-Hulk, who's... Actually, to be fair, the Hulks in general are quite attractive. I don't disagree. Okay. Yeah. We're just going to leave that out there. So, <laughs> I one, want to probe more into this. Lee. I think we've got pictures of them <laughs> coming up later, but they are quite attractive because, because okay. like it, it, it's we. Oh, okay, let's see. Let's see if we've got a picture of um, hot. So this is one of the characters called Titania, who's like the uber villain. That's Jamelia Jamil, as in. The woman with the knife picture, Jamelia Jamil. Do you not remember that one? Everything's no. a dildo if you're brave enough. No. No, not her. No. Well, she used to be television. Pre yeah, yeah, that's what. But okay, I have no <laughs> recollection of this. Why am I the only one with that knowledge? <laughs> We're looking at each other, going, "No, we don't understand." Anyway, <laughs> there was a picture of her sat there with her legs open and a knife in front of her like that. And someone had put the caption at the bottom, everything's a dildo if you're brave enough. Oh my God, I've, I've not seen this, but I need to see this. Oh okay. <laughs> Show me the break. <laughs> anyway, so she is starring in this. So she's, she's gone amazingly. She's gone from kind of doing sort of like T4 presenting to like big Hollywood television films and stuff. So she's opened up about the... <laughs> yeah, that, that didn't go well with the knife thing. There. <laughs> um, so about p the pitfalls of stunt work. Doing So she's talked about how she's injured a very intimate area. Of, of herself. So she plays superhuman villain Titania and she was talking in um, in an interview about how so this is the kind of promo. So what she's saying is is that she did all her own stunts for the for the show and hurt herself in places that she really didn't know existed. So to illustrate the point she said you'll probably have to bleep this out but I pulled a muscle Hole, and I didn't even know that was possible. Oh, yeah, I know that's possible. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've been to A&E for that. Wow. Why am I, why is this in the <laughs> <laughs> But I didn't know you could do this through stunt work. Oh. Why is she doing? <laughs> Maybe that would be a bit of a run-up first. I don't, know. Thank goodness. I don't know. Well, perhaps she said that she did, she did jiu-jitsu, kung fu, and combat in the air. Well, she put on the wires and stuff. Um, she don't know how how much of it gets to this big screen, because they do CGI and stuff. But she said, yeah, I do all of my sense myself, but that one time it hurt and she had to go and have a have a look. So this is this is the Hulk. So what, what, what? did she so go to any with a... With a, with a busted... <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> what did wow. they do to fix it? I think they just put some ice on it. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get some ice, please? <laughs> Nice for Jamil, Medic. please. Um, yeah, so I think she's fine now. I don't think there's well, been any lasting problems with her with her 
with her starfish. Um, but that adds a whole new dimension when you're watching the programme. Um, <laughs> so you just killed Paris off there. <laughs> Do you know what that... It, I love it. No, keep I've going. never mm. heard of it being called a chocolate starfish before. I have. I just didn't expect didn't that. Right mouth. <laughs> on a television programme. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. So She-Hulk, attorney at law, is on um, Disney Plus now. So let's move on. <laughs> let's move away from the topic of, of posteriors. Lil Nas X. Do we like a little bit of Lil Nas X? I love myself Lil Nas X. Yeah. Mm, what about you? You, are yeah. you you're, yeah, you like the you like the devil thing, didn't you? The devil oh, video. Yeah. Oh, the okay. dancing one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> well, so he, I watched he, that quite a lot. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> he's he's teamed up with Yves Saint Laurent, Ooh. Beauty, to promote their new line of makeup. Beauty's the bold. So basically what they're saying is, that this, is this is all kind of like makeup guff. Um, it's a highly pigmented lipstick offering a buildable shine um, um, with a new patented lipstick technology that in delivers intense pigments that never gives up. Clutching your lips like a second skin for 10 hours. I'm not sure whether I like the idea of something clutching my lips. Um, well, <laughs> for seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> For 10 hours on the go. Mm. Very long time. It's a very yes. long time for some stretchable texture. I don't think my um, lips could last for 10 hours. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> yeah. Stretchable texture. Stretchable texture. <laughs> what? Yeah. So, you know, okay. good, good for them. There's a couple of other pictures we've got of him um, slaying it, apparently. Oh. Look at that. Oh, leather daddy come through. I know, yeah. Patty. I don't know whether that's the, the stretchable <laughs> lips. Patty what? I don't know. <laughs> You're about to say just to be his mum's name there. Patty Mallet. Patty Mallet? <laughs> Why would I say Patty Mallet? <laughs> I don't know, you said Patty. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, so if should should you should you look at that face. Look, he's got he's got like diamond teeth. Yes. All his teeth are made of diamonds. Oh my goodness. Mm. Um, I see that being comfortable. I bet he got that off wish. Um, <laughs> should you <laughs> should you wish to purchase this? 39 quid for a lippy and 25 quid for a single eyeshadow. I don't know if that's expensive or not. Um, you can get it online or at your local Boots? <laughs> Why was boots a confusing word? <laughs> Yves Saint Laurent's quite a, quite a designer thing, isn't it? It's very bougie. Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, oh, okay. Right, let's move on to the final bit of showbiz news. Have you ever wondered how they choose the music that the lips syncs, the lip syncs, the Queen's lip sync to? Yeah, I, I'm quite curious about that. Actually. Yeah, there was no other answer apart from yes. So like, <laughs> no, 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 I don't. no. Moving <laughs> no, no, no. um, <laughs> Well, they've announced the launch date of season four Ooh. of Drag Race UK, which is coming on the 22nd of September, um, and we kind of. We're kind of so this is so we haven't got any pictures of the queens because they haven't announced the queens yet. These are a number of the um, judges that are going to be uh, on the show. I'm so we've happy. got. Why are you not happy? Why are you not happy? Because of that waffle in the middle. <gasps> waffle. I'm not allowed Boy to say George. the word <laughs> waffle. <gasps> why? 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 why, why Boy George. Not, why do you not like? He had a whole rant about like people choosing their pronouns oh. like, on Twitter, and it's called Boy George. Mm hmm. Oh, All right. Okay. No. Oh, so not like him. Okay, well, nope. Alison Hammond, yay! Queen of the Huns. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, for those those people who are very young, that lady there is Kathy Dennis. Very was a very famous pop star back in my day. Um, and well, she's uh, in colour. <laughs> she. <laughs> <laughs> they colourised it for All the, right, for the yeah, thing. Right. Um, Joanna Lumley's going to be on Love. it. Amazing. Um, other people who I don't know because I, I I'm not very up with. Um, um, that's Ollie Alexander with no eyebrows. She's got eyebrows. They just bleached. They just bleached them out. I don't know who that lady is. Is that is That's that Tess, Tess Daly. Daly? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So they've announced the the judges, but they haven't announced who's, who's the queens. He? Who's he? Yes. I don't know. I want to say oh, he's I like an know. actor from something like um, what's the one that's oldie worldy. Bridgerton? Yes, something like that. Okay. I would imagine. Yeah. Anyway, so. Well researched as always, Lee. I know. Yeah. I know. Um, <laughs> I like to. The people can find out. The people can find out. Anyway, so the executive producer of, of, of Drag Race has been speaking about how they select the Drag Race songs. Um, and basically, what he's kind of like saying is that RuPaul basically kind of gives the go ahead, yes or no. So RuPaul is apparently quite a massive music fan that covers like a whole sort of like 
range of types of music. So apparently he will reject songs because of their wrong tempo or they don't build. He thinks of kind of the situation. Why are you smiling at me like that? This is my, my resting face. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> um, so he said, do you remember when RuPaul used to give them an iPod and they had to kind of load it from... Mm -hmm. listen to the music. So he basically said he's a PhD in pop culture. What would be your lip sync song of choice? I'd probably do Spoken Word, because I like it when they do Spoken Word. Oh, uh, well, they've only done word. one, haven't they? Yeah, but I liked it. Okay. But I'd do the whole um, Shangela rant. Oh, good choice. If I could get a sugar daddy, I would get a sugar, I'm a sugar daddy. daddy you know I, I need to get a sugar Sick daddy. Yeah. Right, okay. You can have a sugar daddy, because you're not that type of girl. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that one. <laughs> what would be yours? It's going to be a bit of a random one, actually. Oh, go, go for it. But it would be Britney work, bitch. Oh, okay. That would be like my lip sync of my life. Wow, okay. Because it's got the tempo, it's got the build. See, I'm thinking yeah. like RuPaul. Ask <laughs> <laughs> RuPaul. You could do a slot drop. Yeah, you could middle. do anything to that. Yeah. yeah. I'd probably go for something like theme tune to Coronation Street. <laughs> That's your lip sync? Yeah, let's keep it real, <laughs> I think. Um, <laughs> Played on the kazoo. Yeah. <laughs> that, that would ultimately... And when I lifted my wig... Pies would fall out. Oh, that's the English essence. <laughs> Pies like, ooh, pie. <laughs> <laughs> and eat it, yeah. Anyway, that's the end of this week's showbiz news. Well, thanks for that, Lee. Always nice to know that we're getting pies falling from people's heads again. Stick around as next is Mike in the Buzz. You're watching Chewing the Code with Lee Mike and our special guest host Paris. Now let's get ready to explore the oddities of his search history as it's Mike with the buzz. Oh, supermarkets. Do you do anything unusual in a supermarket, Lee? Do I do anything unusual? Yeah. We're not go we're not we're not going here again. We've going that's again. been a re that's been no. <laughs> Wait, and we have a guest about? in the studio that does not need to be privy of this information. So I no. really am curious about what <laughs> you do in the supermarket, Lee. Please no, tell us more. Not, well, it's not happening again. It's not. Do, I'm not having it. So no, I don't, Mike. You don't. Okay. No. What about you, Paris? Do you have anything unusual in, in supermarkets? I mean, I smell the food sometimes. Like if you get a, a big, like long bit of bread, and you're oh, like, okay, I'll be very good with that. And you just give it a good sniff, and you're like, oh yeah, that's good. Or like, if you come across the cheese counter, and you just okay. give it a good whiff. Okay. Am I the only one that does that? I mean, the bread, I, I tend to tap its bottom. Do you? Yeah, because that tells you whether it's fresh or not. Is it Are you fresh? No, it's, it's, it's <laughs> just a gentle tap rather than... Oh, sorry, I was a bit aggressive. <laughs> yeah, <it was laughs> break a bit off and eat it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's only theft. I don't like that. What, theft? No, no when, 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 no, when you go... <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> you go in a supermarket and there's a, like, a parent with a child and they like give their child a packet of crisps to eat. No! You've not paid for it yet. It's theft. Yeah. yeah, is it actual theft? Yeah, yeah. until you've paid for it, it's theft. But well, why do they do it then? Keep the kids quiet. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I've just got to bring it up. Okay. Um, <laughs> with you not doing anything unusual no. in supermarkets. Um, I'll tell you about it later. It's no, you won't. Uh, well, this is, this is about a model, um, Amy, who likes to do something unusual in supermarkets. She's a what? A model. A mo okay. Called Amy, who likes to um, fart in posh supermarkets. Is this for real? It's it's for real. Um, she's. <laughs> oh no, I've seen this TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, I know it's real. It is real. Um, so yeah, so she often posts about her everyday shenanigans, um, but she likes to fart in posh supermarkets near the cheese aisle because it confuses people. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what is the matter with people? What is the matter with people? Because to be fair. The smell of cheese is very different than the smell of fart. I don't know what a fart smells like. Depends what she's eating. <laughs> she might eat a lot of cheese. <laughs> yeah, it's very fair, yeah. Dairy Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Dairy Lee. Yeah, that's a very pungent aroma. It really isn't. Blue Stilton. Blue Stilton. Mm. Camembert. Yeah, oh They're yeah. stinky cheeses. Mm. Yeah. Dairy Lee. Little silver triangle. Yeah. Does she get paid for this? No. She does it just because she can. Just she can, and it's fun. Um, people have commented on the smell of her personal aromas. Um, some people have said they could smell the fresh scent of a French countryside. No, they didn't. Right, first of all, wh wh which French countryside have they been to? And secondly, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, she said she was flattered by that one. 
So somebody actually came up to him and said, oh, no, <laughs> Have you just dropped your guts? Yes. Oh, it smells like the French countryside. Can you Thank imagine you the reviews? Much. Yeah. It goes really well with my Dairy Lee triangles. Does she have reviews online? She does. Does she actually? <laughs> she has lots of comments. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, she's... Does she hand out cards? If you've enjoyed this smell, <laughs> please um, <laughs> please sign up for my only fans. She has one of those little, where like, that came from. little happy smiley faces. You know, you see in public toilets. Yeah, around, how like... was that? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> how enjoyable Satisfied. was your experience? Yeah. Um, whoever presses the red button, though. How clean were our toilets? Red. Oh, Ooh. no. Um, anyway, she said that she likes to hear... Snooty people talk about how amazing the fresh cheese smells just after she's let one go. Oh, so it's kind of like, haha, it's not, that's my fault. Yeah. I like, I told you, right, that I like to smell the cheese. Oh. I am not smelling the cheese anymore. <laughs> well, no depends, way. Depends on the supermarket. Where does she come from? <laughs> I'm not telling you. You're not telling us? <laughs> no. Oh. Because you'll stalk her. No, I won't. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I, I want to know the smell. It might smell be. like a French country. Oh, my so God. Do, do you know what would be really cool? Because, you know, like, some celebrities have had, like, candles made yes. of the smell of their own, like, body parts. Mm -hmm. Imagine if she had a candle or, like, an air freshener of, like, her scent. Of her goth. <laughs> oh. A goth. It's not good, is it? No. Well, yeah. It's niche. It's, it's, it's a choice. Niche. It's a choice. Um, but we'll move on from that lady who does yeah. unusual things in supermarkets to, have you ever been drunk in a McDonald's? Yes. <laughs> I like it, very definite. <laughs> yes, from Paris. Yes. No, never. No. You don't really do McDonald's, though, do you? No. I didn't know they had those big screens in them till a the couple Technology. of weeks ago. Technology. What, the, the order points? Yeah. <laughs> Technology, the future. Well, about ten years ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everyone else is going, oh, I don't like them anymore. Um, well, this is a story about a woman who came out of her, her wedding do and was basically escorted from McDonald's for being drunk as she um, crammed Big Macs down a bra. <laughs> she, did she go to... What, what, what's the questions? Did she go... Did she go... Was a wedding reception at McDonald's? No, it was nearby. But did she, she not went, have food? Did she pay know. for them? No. <laughs> oh, right. She basically, she wanted, she wanted some Big Macs. They were taking too long. She was drunk. She went, oh, stuff it. Went behind, grabbed some Big Macs, started shoving them down her bra. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> theft. It's naughty. It is theft. Don't do yeah. it. We don't Very condone naughty. it. <laughs> Yes. And she pre-ordered first? She ordered. Oh, she ordered. She didn't just go and grab yeah, them. She ordered, but they were taking too long, so she drunkenly went, ah. Oh, OK. Yeah. Um, <laughs> basically, they tried to get to leave, but she refused to leave without eating. A squish. Oh, no, that's going to have, Bra. like, B.O. and sweat on the mm. burger. And, I mean, if that's your thing, go for it. It's a different but... kind of McDonald's special sauce. Woo. What is in the Big Mac sauce? We now know. I don't think I'll eat there again. <laughs> <laughs> Nuggets are fine. Nuggets are fine. Oh, OK. Um, she stuffed them in a... I mean, I mean look, she's, like, she's literally shoving that up her armpit and the, I presume that's the manager who's kind of probably having, having a, a complete <laughs> meltdown going, I don't know where to go with this. Hang on a second. I thought for a second that they were in, like, those wrappers. No, they were big They're back to the, full the on boxes. boxes. Yeah. How many oh, boxes? Oh, she was the boxes. How yes. many boxes did she put in there? So one in each... Oh, OK, I was going oh, okay. to say. She wasn't, she wasn't smuggling them. <laughs> <laughs> like one there. Meeting a family of seven. Um, was she arrested? Um, she wasn't arrested, but she was asked to leave and has been asked not to come back to that certain little <laughs> No. But, yeah. Oh, well, what a, what a classy... What a lovely way to start your wedding. What a classy your married life. Going to a McDonald's. Yeah, your <laughs> nipples smelling of gherkins. Oh, wow. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> to be fair... Yeah, hang on a second. That, that, yeah. that doesn't sound so bad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a new perfume you've got. <laughs> yes, it's burger. Uh, and if your nips smell of burger or anything else, don't forget to find us on at the Good TV on all our social media. And that brings us to our story of the week. Now, I referenced this at the start of the show about a, a trend that's coming back from the 2000s. Mm-hmm. Now, Paris probably isn't young is old enough to remember this, but two girls, one cup. I have seen that. My mother showed me that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's we have a very strange family. <laughs> okay. oh, very, very open. <laughs> remember I don't two girls, one I cup? don't remember that. Two girls and they're going... No. Do you remember one boy, one cup? No. Oh, God. No, that was a gentleman with a jar. I've seen that. glass and it breaks when it's... And the shards. Oh, yes. I don't understand anything that you're, any of you are saying. Okay. 
Well, well, I'll, I'll just keep going and you'll get the gist. OK. OK. Uh, this is a story about a 45-year-old man who endured 10 days with a metal cup up his rectum before it was removed. What is the matter with people? Wow, that is a challenge. <laughs> That's definitely a new challenge. Um, <laughs> so this x-ray was taken of him in the hospital. Uh, they found the cup, cup lost, lodged in his intestines. And Did he know to... it was there? Yeah, he put it up there. Oh, OK. I mean, no. what was he trying he woke to do? Up one morning. <laughs> and went, oh, I feel a bit of a discomfort. Pass me a ready. <laughs> <laughs> no, if he... and his partner's going. <laughs> for Ten days. Yeah. do you know? <laughs> if he had been no, if he'd been drunk and he didn't know, because you, care you watch drunk, these. I don't care how drunk you are. <laughs> to get a metal cup up there takes time, effort, and planning. <laughs> yeah. Well, you watch these programs at A and E, and they like have something stuck up, and they go, and you don't know. I slipped. OK. That's a long process <laughs> of stretching. That is. Um, Did so he manage to get it out? They, they, managed, they cut it out. So they had to slice in to remove it. Oh, wow. Um, but, you know, the, the joke is to go to any... Oh, I fell on it. Mm. He didn't say that. He, what did he say? He admitted that his wife had done it to treat his hemorrhoids. Wow. I think he needs, I think he needs a doctor. A real doctor, why, not his why, wife. <laughs> why would shoving a metal cup up your ass? So it her, been hemorrhoids. I don't know. But no. The, the doctors found no evidence of hemorrhoids. Oh. <laughs> oh she is cruel. She is cruel. Oh my God. I did say we're going to cut it out. Oh, that's my favourite cup. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have it back? Can you get it? Can you get it out in one piece? <laughs> we'll pop it through a hot wash. It'll be right. <laughs> is but, yeah. he okay? Um, no. He's, he's fine. He's just a little oh, bit thaw. A little bit wide. A little bit thaw. He can't sneeze in public anymore. Oh. Um, Neither can I. To <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's all from the buzz this week. Oh, well, well, thank you for that, Mike. Um, burger nipples. That, that's, that is a phrase that will <laughs> hang around for the rest of the day. <laughs> Stick around. As coming up, we have our game of the week. You're watching Chewing the Cud. Now it's time for us to play Ooza Kazoo, and this is a game for Mike. So, the orally challenged <laughs> Mike. That what wasn't what it said, it? but yeah. I'm going to go with orally challenged. Oh, OK, that's yeah. nice for you. OK, so off you pop. Game of the Week. So I have a list of songs here. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you should have buzzers. Do you have buzzers? We do, yes. So Ling goes honk honk and Paris goes... Mine's a boing. OK, cool. <laughs> um, so let's get this show on the road. <laughs> Is it, a, is it a modern one? No. Does it, is that the sound of that woman that farts in the supermarket? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, think, think it's um, pop stars. <laughs> These pop stars from what? What? Pop is stars, that? the TV program. Yes. Oh. Do it again. <laughs> ah no 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 no! I know what I know the song. Okay, well go for it for half a point. Um. Du, 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 du. Yes, that's the du, one. Du, 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 du. Yeah, I, pure and simple. It is pure and simple. Amazing. No, get that out. <laughs> that, that, that doesn't sound anything like pure and simple. <laughs> Took a du, du, good du, du, du. <laughs> It sounded like something from a 1940s band. Same thing. <laughs> so go, go, just to want to get quite aggressive. <laughs> that's sessions. all right. That's um, all right. <laughs> just having a moment. You smack that buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. Is it H-O-P-P-Y? It's not, no. 
<laughs> I'll do I'll do the, the very first verse. <laughs> He's rubbish, I don't think he knows. What, what is that? It's the, ballad, to... it's the ballad of Barry and Frieda. Oh. oh, that's... That's <laughs> nice. Do it, do it while the mood is right. I'm feeling appealing. Well, that sounded that. like it. <laughs> <laughs> that what you were doing didn't. <laughs> <laughs> OK, next one. <laughs> Was giving me life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying myself over here. Don't you it? Is it a theme tune? No, it's a, it's a song. It's popular culture. It's what? It's popular culture. Pop music. Popular culture. <laughs> Not, it's not the Milky Bar Kid, or is it? I don't even know. I don't know. It's better the devil you know. Oh, oh for goodness my. sake! So, how, isn't it annoying? Yes. That is nothing, that doesn't sound anything like. Like, like. better the devil you know. Yeah, da -da 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 -da. yeah. I wasn't starting at that point, I'm doing uh, choruses. Thank God. That's so oh. difficult. <sighs> I feel vilified now. You feel like you don't feel vilified. Two years of doing this, it's been vindicated. They, they've been gaslighting me and kind of saying, "I don't know what you're doing." I right. feel you. So, Lee, <laughs> Lee, you mean vindicated, not vilified? <laughs> Just a word. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, next one. This is more modern. Oh, nice. We might get this. Now, do you want me to do the chorus or the first verse? I th I'd say the hook. How it starts. Oh. Okay, <laughs> whatever. Okay, I'll do the start. Whatever's recognisable. Okay. <laughs> Call me by your name, Lil Nas X. It is. Okay. You see? I got the hook. The hook was. Yeah. That's the bit that got me. I mean, quite uh, frankly, you are a radio DJ, so. I should know. Wait, I was. How long that before that came out? I should know it. I'm a professional. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> <laughs> is it Dance Yourself Dizzy by Jay McDonald? It is Dance Yourself Dizzy by Yay! <laughs> Found my level now. Yeah. <laughs> What's the score so far? I think it's 2-1. Uh, <laughs> I 
feel like I kind of have heard it before. It's familiar. Is it? Is it Get Your Rocks Off by Primal Scream? <laughs> Give, give me the hook again. Give me the hook again. No. It's Bad Guy by Billie Eilish. Oh! I got the do 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 But then you did your little solo and I was like, what is... What, what, what? <laughs> what, what is he doing? I was enjoying it. <laughs> Okay. Don't tell him that. <laughs> oh. oh, that's a oh. tiebreaker. Oh. Who got their first? If I say the artist, you said song. Yeah. Miley Cyrus. Break me. It was Wrecking Ball. Oh! oh boom. <laughs> I would have said Wrecking Ball. Balls. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> you can see what's on my mind. <laughs> Break me. <laughs> this game will. <laughs> <laughs> Confusion. Oh, <laughs> song. Is it a pop song? It is a popular song. <sighs> it is also a place. Oh, do it again. Because <laughs> that's going to help. <laughs> <laughs> Alien in New York. No, it was Havana by Camilla Cabello. Oh. I don't think anybody won there. <laughs> Paris won, Lee one and a half. So Lee <laughs> lost. All right then. I hate this game. <laughs> Coming up, we don't have the torture of that science that is this week. We will shine a spotlight on Paris in our originally titled new segment, Spotlight. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. We have spent enough time with them now, so let's get up close and personal in Spotlight. <laughs> So, as we've already said, we welcome the lovely Paris with us today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you know, it. It's a pleasure. Have you been enjoying yourself so far? I've had the best time. Oh, thank um, you to lie. <laughs> 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 my favourite part was the kazoo, I think. It will forever live on in my memory. We'll, we'll pay for the therapy, don't worry. Um, <laughs> so, some of the viewers might know you from, from Gay Deal Breakfast. Yes, I do. Yeah, so, a little... so how long have you been doing Gay Deal Breakfast for? Oh, gosh, I've been doing it since October last year. Um, that was pre-transition. And then um, I started taking hormones in De November, December time last year. So it's about eight months on testosterone now. Wow. So, oh. Yeah, it's been a journey. It's been, it's been crazy. I mean, it's a journey that you shared with the listeners as well, isn't it? Because you quite, and I'm going to say brave,ly came out on air. Because yeah. um, I was driving to work at the time and I had to pull over. Did you? I literally, I was. Did you? Yeah, I pulled over to tweet, well done. Oh, wow. Yeah, because it was that moment of going, that person's just, well done, pulling over. Yeah. Because that was a big thing. What, what made you do it? Well, I think, like, even with this show, you feel, like, so connected to, to like, you watching at home and you just want to be open and honest. And there are some things going on in your life that you just feel like you just need to onto the table and just air out to everyone and this is something that has been eating me alive for like years and years and I'm 32 now and I've only just had the courage to go do you know what I'm just gonna do it wow. I don't care what happens I'm just gonna do it and that's the scariest thing that leap of faith but I'm so glad I did it 
Do you, what time? I've gone completely to the other extreme of like, oh, that's really serious. So, what time do you have to get up in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> do you get a lie in? All these hard hitting <laughs> questions, you know. Um, I, I get up at five. 5.30 in the morning, oh. have a shower, put my testosterone on my shoulders, you know, get ready for the day. Bumped. <laughs> <laughs> do a little flex in the mirror, make Never sure my muscles are still there. Never do that ever again. I miss that. Get bumped. <laughs> I'm swole. Yeah. <laughs> mm. You, you clearly have far more testosterone in your system than I ever have. <laughs> <laughs> Lee is about 90% glitter. <laughs> yeah, love that. So, yeah, that's fine. So, oh, wow. And then, so are you kind of like, by midday, you're like, mm, not a nap time. Um, I'm, by 10 a.m. I'm flagging because it takes me a good, like, four or five cups of coffee throughout <laughs> the show. And... I'm the first one in the building. I get there for half six in the morning. Right. Set everything up, turn the systems on and stuff like that. I get the cameras ready because we do... Radio is cameras nowadays. It's crazy. Oh, right. They film it as well. They live, do they live stream it? Not live stream it, but like every time we go live, it records like... Oh, right. So okay. whatever microphone's being used, it just flips to that camera. Oh. So if I'm having a bad hair day or having a bad whatever face day or anything, it shows. It's HD, unfortunately. Oh, God. You know, it's quick nose picks or... I mean, you get all of that, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> like it stops you. <laughs> no, I know, but yeah. First thing in the morning. Ooh, ooh. I know. Delightful. Oh. And you met, we were talking before, you've recently met... The lovely steps. Oh my god, that was so iconic! I actually went to see steps in Stoke on Trent as well last night. Oh right, for their outdoor summer twenty yes. fifth. It was so good. In fact, I, I think it's because of my age. I can't, I can't laugh properly. I can't sneeze properly, and I can't dance without peeing myself. Okay. <laughs> so oh, I peed myself while watching steps. <laughs> it was an event. Yeah, it was. It was fun. <laughs> I don't know where to go now with that. Yeah. Shall we um, open up the jar? You, yeah. <laughs> Before we start doing, so do you, have a, do, you have a, do you have a preference for pad? Yeah. <laughs> you piss yourself? I like, or just a real <laughs> Have you ever uh, defecated in a supermarket? <laughs> 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 so, yes, we have the lovely jar of joy. I love this. So, I'm going to, to, to this has been stylishly created. I love the GCSE Arts and Crafts. GCSE Arts and Crafts. Wait, did you make that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> I mean, some people said A-level, but that's fine. <laughs> what in the B-tech is this? <laughs> I wouldn't go as high as a B-tech. <laughs> no, it's fab. <laughs> so our first question is, would you rather live in space or live under the sea? <laughs> that deep. <laughs> as you do. I would rather live in space. Do you know why? Because I'm terrified of the sea. Okay. I'm s oh, okay. I'm s I've been in the sea. I've been scuba diving, but I'm really scared. Because you can't... In the UK, you can't really see anything in the sea. No. <laughs> it's all quite murky. Yeah, it's gross, right? It's, it's, it's very, like... It's very dusty water and dirty water, and you can't really see what's, like, 10 metres in front of you. So if you get attacked by a shark, you won't even know it's coming. Not many sharks in the UK waters, though. <laughs> I've seen Jaws. I've seen what they do. <laughs> I've seen what they do. I know that they exist. Um, yeah, so I'd rather live in space because it'd be fun to come across some weird and wonderful stuff up there. And you get to float. You do. And no one can hear you scream. Oh. True. So it's an ongoing argument that Lee has that apparently you can hear people scream in space. Showering in space must be difficult. Because water, because <laughs> water, like, you know what I mean? Just looking for the link. But yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean. Because it'd be bubbles, though, it. wouldn't it? Yeah. So it'd be like playing with bubbles, but... Like, do they shower in space? I think they might just be stinky. Apparently. Yes, they do, they're saying in the gallery. Would you have to elaborate on that? How do they shower in space? <laughs> they remain grubby like, forever. Wet white, bits, pits and bits. Yeah, like you do at a festival. Yeah, pits and bits, I like that. <laughs> I'm going to use that next time. <laughs> Factual. F facts. <laughs> okay, let's go for another one. <sighs> <laughs> Would you rather mm. have a ketchup dispensing belly button <laughs> or have pencil sharpening nostrils? Ah. <laughs> uh. Do you know what? Pencil sharpening nostrils because then all the drag queens can use their 
eyebrow oh. pencils and come on love let's yes. sort you out you know you could just be a makeup accessory yeah. or like a whatever blonde yeah. lip liner paris hi <laughs> <laughs> come on then <laughs> Dig in. <laughs> I mean, these just Come answer on, them. Dig in. That's a phrase. <laughs> That's a meme right there. <laughs> they, they, they just, they just, they, these are just factual, aren't they? These questions, they just answer them I as well. These don't questions. They? Yeah, that, that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What would you rather have? Uh, belly button ketchup. Okay. Oh, but then when if you're getting intimate, it's gonna get everywhere. And it's gonna look like a bit of a bloodbath. That's why we want ketchup. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> but no, I'd be I'd be afraid of putting pe pencils up my nose just in case someone came up and I can just like. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because yeah, of the brain. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Because because to be fair, it is realistic, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's something that could, could well happen. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce, why don't you have a dig in? All right, I'm gonna see what you can pull out. Reach into your jar of joy. I'm pulling one out. Here we go. So is this a question to myself? Yeah, you're going to ask yourself. Okay, yeah. okay. W so would you rather have the ability to know when someone's lying or never have anyone lie to you again? Oh. Oh. Well, that's hard. Do you know what I'd say? I'd rather be a detective, so I'd rather know and be like, you're a liar. <laughs> but if, In the if, words if, of Davide <laughs> from Love Island. <laughs> 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 With an Italian accent, yeah. Yeah, what about you? What is it? Ne have the ability to find out if people are lying? Yeah, to have the ability to know when someone's lying or never have anyone lie to you again. So, would that be something that would tell you the truth all the time? Mm. Yeah. Like, no matter how oh, hard it is. Oh, no, the, other, the yeah. first one. But then I you don't... know they're lying, but they can't tell that you know that they're lying. I can live but with do they that. know that you know that you, they're lying? <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> That's a loop. <laughs> yeah, I can I can live with not being. I don't want to be told the truth. Ooh, would you prefer, or would you rather, have everything you've ever wanted but disliked by everyone, or have nothing and loved by everyone? I would rather be loved by everyone because I'm needy. <laughs> I, I'm like golden retriever energy. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I just want to be loved. That's but, it. Aww. I just want all the cuddles and the kisses and that's it. That's it. <laughs> no, I want a Lamborghini and I don't care if people hate me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the way that you drive. <laughs> I would love to see that, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah. You'd look good in a Lamborghini. I think so, yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't go anywhere. I don't know what a Lamborghini <laughs> looks like. It's just the first car <laughs> name that came into my head. It's a, a low sass. Is it very low? Low. Yeah, it's it? very low. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sports car. Is it the ones it's where the, they the open up like square. the... Galway. What's it called? The Back to the Future car? That's a DeLorean. Oh, wrong car. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's kind of like a, a wedge. A All right, okay. I'd, re I'd rethink that then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's going, what speed's that Lambo doing? Oh, about 20 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I think we've learned a lot about Paris this time. <laughs> so that's almost the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media at The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And on YouTube and podcast services, search for Chewing The Could. Thank you for watching. And a special thank you to Paris for enjoying us. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. But yeah, if you want to pop your fist back in, you can do. Yeah. Whatever gets you through the day. <laughs> <laughs>